Big up everybody. Big up everybody. Alright, so we only have one hour because they have a time limit on my um they have a time limit on my um We only have one hour because they put a time limit on my um, my page. So we only have one hour. Alright? Plus me I travel today, so I forget get ready on them thing there. I'm heading to Europe, heading to Belgium, heading to France. Um Yeah. Gonna be a Trace TV um awards show. Um on September. Um, 16th. See? Um, so we're up on the road. See, give thanks. Down here, very loud. Damn. I don't know if I can deal that loudness. Eh? Good have to go inside because I don't hear very loud. Too loud. Too loud, too loud, too loud. I'm going to say I can navigate through it and maybe me go into the car yeah maybe a car settings in a nice right now don't yeah a car settings are nice now i'm gonna go into the car kind of environment too noisy yeah good it good robert all right cool man all right, I'm so good. All right. so i could jump right into this yeah friday in belgium um lady Lady Diddy. Alright? Alright. So I could jump right into this. So let me do a part one on the reason with um the Spice and Erica from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta and the um the racial slur that uh, words that Erica used when um speaking about Spice. Or call her a blue monkey. Um to be precise. So that argument is still making the rounds and of course we see where Spice came out now and she put out a statement and she said alright we are all in this together. So the people them, the, the, the little Spice minions them we have a problem when people speak on anything about Spice and think that we are attacking Spice and we are trying to talk about Spice to get some form of relevance. No, 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 no. We are just reasoning on the thing them in the social space because, and here your, your artist said it, we are all in this together. So when we're all in this together, that means everybody can talk about it. So I talk about it from a different point of view than what many of you may have. You see? I talk about the double standard of it and I talk about the hypocrisy and all them things. And I talk about um, a historical um, part of this thing. First and foremost, if we're all in this together, according to West Spice, I say, why is MTV and the Love and Hip Hop franchise still hearing you being called a monkey? At that first question, we're all in this together. That's the first question I want to ask. If we're all in this together, because according to you, she's racist. Because you put out a lot of receipts. You put out some receipts where she's calling other people. Monkey. See? Alright. So if this is an issue and this is racially um, motivated, why love and hip hop still broadcasting this? Why is it still hearing? Right now, anybody can go check. By MTV, because of course, contrary to what I believe, so we sit down and watch him show you. I don't watch the show. But I have to do my research as a sociologist or as a qualified um, student in the field. Yeah? So I have to do my research to find out why is it still showing? Again, I'm going to reiterate. 
If someone had called the J E W people them any form of derogatory names or any form of anti Semitic names, MTV would not be hearing it. They would not edit it out or them that take down that episode. The fact where well, you don't understand spice. Because nobody not really tell you the truth. You are running with this now, or you're milking this now, in my opinion. You're milking this now, but you are milked the wrong thing. And know Erica, you have part of the thing you must milk. You are trying to point fingers on Erica, but it's bigger than Erica. You and Erica were used to send up ratings. You and Erica and all the other sisters him on the show, you are being used to send up ratings to make money for people. We are not modern day slaves. So be, in truth, it's just a plantation war or a plantation feud. You know. What you and Erica had was a plantation feud. When Massa setting up against each other. It's nothing new. Massa used to take two of the Negroes in the house and so forth and let them cook and let them serve. And those Negroes in the house, you know, felt like they were better than the, one, the ones on the plantation. It's just the same thing. It's just modern day plantation Negroes um, fighting. Because Erica is a black woman. Understand that, you know. Erica mother jet black. Big up yourself, Robert, for just point out that to me. Erica mother, jet black. And nobody no name, quote unquote, Latino or Spanish. Nobody no name, so. You see what I say? People label people with names based on geographical locations and all them things here. Nobody no name Spanish. And according to The narrative where they put forward. So if you have one percent black in here, you're black. One one drop of black blood makes you black. A person like Erica back in a slavery or post slavery could not ride on the bus or on the train and take a, a white man, a pure white man seat. So Erica is a black woman, you know. It does not a black woman who get, you know, some look of favorism and some look of privilege from Massa and, and feel like she's better than the plantation Negroes. It's just that, it's just, it's, and that's not just Erica, it's many of, many of these people, especially right, right, right under, in that region where Hispaniola, Hispaniola you know, Without getting too much details to offend nobody. So them stop buying my music. <laughs> or black listening. But it's the same thing. It's just uh, across the border. They feel like they feel like they're better than the dark skinned people them. And it's even up even, even in our own society that happens where the uptown Negroes them feel like they're better than the downtown dark skinned Negroes. So Erica is just a bossy slave. Still working for Massa. Maniacs Babina said Erica Mom is light skinned Hispanic, so is her dad. What is light what is light skinned Hispanic? Is she black or is she is she quote unquote white? What is light skinned Hispanic? See the night class and I learn nothing. What is light skinned Hispanic? What is that term? What is a light skinned Hispanic? Lisa is a light-skinned black woman. Lisa Hannah from Jamaica is a light-skinned black woman. Tess and Chin and Tammy Chin them are light-skinned black people. What is a light-skinned black woman? What is a light-skinned Hispanic? What is Hispanic? 
What is their both light skin? Are they black people? Are they African people? Are they people with African descendants? Some from African descendants mix up in them. Are they African descendants? Excuse me. Is it why is it quote unquote pure white breed? Leave from over that side of Europe where it's cold. And during the whole colonization era, start interbreed with the Africans them. Created changes in the pigmentation of the skin. So I want to stop on the foolishness, Bridging. It's just different shades in the pigmentation. Add, add pigment. Is it? So just stop on the nonsense, Bridging. We don't have light color black people. Stop it. So that is not even the crux of the matter. We just are showing us a black woman. So you don't, want to, you don't want to call Erica a black woman now because it suits you. She's a black woman. It's them same looking people that could not ride on the bus. It's them same looking people that were looked at as Negroes back in slavery and post-slavery. Right up post-slavery there. It's now, it's now some of these Latinos start to represent themselves as them white. Zin? Alright. So it's two plantation Negroes fighting. Whether or not one like it, yes or no. It's just two plantation Negroes. Every Kamina is a plantation Negro. Working still for Massa. And spice come from the region where the darker Negroes then were sent to. <laughs> Alright? No. Leave that alone now. I could get no reason. The same white, light skin we're not talking about, you know, those light skin Latinos or light skin Spanish we're not giving hell now to call anybody a monkey. You are okay with these light skin Latinos, light skin Spanish people, according to you, know, to use the N word without any pushback. All the Latino rappers, them use the N-word just like how we use it. And nobody push back, you know what? Because they see them at this time as black people. So them get a pass for use. All of these Latino rappers, all of these Latino artists, them use the N-word like, it's okay. And as my brother Robert did a reason me. If, I, if an Arab use the N-word, we're going to say the Arab is racist. But when a Latino uses the n-word we don't have no problem with it then so in other words a latino can come right now and say yo 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 what's my man my, my, my n-word my n what's up my what's up and then can cuss you in the same room and say yo you motherfucking you know it's all right nobody no butter eye you see because we're selective in our outrage you see so when we boil it down to, what did I, what did I say it's boiled down to? Two plantation Negroes fighting. And now all the other Negroes are up in their feelings because now she's not black. She's no longer black. But look on and look one. The network. Still broadcasting it. Look on and look one. The franchise did not edit it out, did not take it out of the show, did not take it out of the episode. They left it right there. And right now, presently, you go on the MTV and you type in episode 11, you will hear it raw, raw twice, not one time. MTV is currently broadcasting. Another Negro calling another Negro. Blue Monkey. It's still right now available. If you want to go view it or listen it. You think they could do that to the chosen people? You think they could mess with the Muslim community like that? Again... They have no respect for his VH1. Oh, them say it's VH1. Sorry, 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 people. It's VH1 at the point. 
Yeah, VH1. I think they may take that for VH1. One of them. Yeah, one of them. But them now have no respect. Ah, when I confuse me now because I think it's MTV and somebody say VH1. It's one of them. It's JBC. It depends. CVM it depends. Alright, back to the punchline. So, them still hearing it, people. <laughs> so, Spice, you come now. And I tell you, say, we are all in this together. Because this is a problem in the community. According now you are going to preach to we, you know. You know, Spice, I are going to preach to we. I mean, I don't mean that, you know, because you me an outcast. Me must not include it in a, in a we are all. But let's say, let me give myself a 1% chance to be into the we are all. See, why would you still be on? Still, why would you still go on the show? Why are you still plugging the show? Why are you still promoting the show? They disrespected you in the first place by even releasing it, calling you a blue monkey, and them still running it, calling you a blue monkey. You are being used. You are the laughing stock of the show. And if they did not see you as a monkey spice, they would not be hearing it. MTV, the franchise love and hip hop, whatever, in my view, see you as a monkey. That's why they're still hearing it. Unedited. You're out here talking about you pulling receipts for the other plantation, Negro. That's not supposed to be your main contention, sister. But you why you can't see this now? Because you want the fame off of the, off of the franchise. You want them push you. You want to be this something, something. Maybe movie star, whatever, whatever. You yeah, look a call from Tyler Perry, them, whatever. So you're not going to see the part there. That is the reason why they come tell me, say, you know, you outgrow Jamaica, you know. You see, problem, you see, now you're telling us we're all in this thing together, you know. I mean, some man, me love inclusion, you know. Now you come tell me, say, we're all in this together, you know. Me enough, you know. Me enough, I love people, be, yeah, me love, me love, uh, that's them people business, yeah. Me love talk about them because me love point out hypocrites and parasites. Because me know some other haters may have it to go hurt them feelings and they may go bite up themselves and they may go, and they may go turn more haters. Welcome haters, big up on yourself because me love haters and you know? I love people who hate me. Yeah man. Because when I make me work hard, I make me have more motivated and when me I do something and I say, say nah, I work, I work hard, I forget it done. God bless you no haters. Me love you no bad. As a matter of fact, I think my haters list has dropped down a little bit too much. I need my haters list to go back a little bit. When I, when I get too friendly. You see? When I get in too friendly. Keep on your hate, man. So I love them part of people business, you know. What words they going to say? You yeah, include me? All of we? No, 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 no. For you include me, I have to talk. No. Remember, you see, outgrow Jamaica in a place. So you dash me away, you outgrow away. One little episode you come on. The first little run them gear up on the show, you outgrow it. Oh, I outgrow Jamaican people. <laughs> <laughs> you dash your stick. You dash your stick, you know. I never done cross over my bridge yet, you know. I know what I... I come down so hard <laughs> now. You are come. You are we no come help you cross back over now. They are come say all are we in this together. No sister we are not in this together. We are not all in this together sister. Because if we are all in this together you have to walk away from this show. You have to walk away from this show that is calling you a blue monkey. Then we can reason. Then we, But you can't let, can't let go. Because <laughs> you want to be the whatever 
out, the, the person will outgrow the Jamaican people them. You're bigger than the Jamaican something something now. You're a movie star now, so you outgrow it. You see? When people are coming, they are fight for them, grow me. You know how long me, you know how hard me fight for Jamaican people and grow me? And then dash me away side and hush me out of church, all kind of thing them do with me. Spit for me, stone me like me a Jesus. You know, me beg them for grow me. Me say, you know, can't just grow me. Me behave myself, me do my homework, me bring in my schoolwork, or show my mommy and my daddy, me say, yo, see me get good grades, me, me do everything right, me no get no trouble with the law, me no do nothing wrong. Me, all me do, me just tell them, say, yo, open up on the eyes, you know, because the European, they trick me, I give you some doctrine where none of really black people suck, man, they hate me. And to me point out, say, them are pedophile and, and rapists in the industry where people um, treat them like kings and queens and all them things there, they hate me. Because them favorite people, they make, make, make point out that so they are pedophile. But they want to take people award. Even though they have evidence of them, of them, them favorite people, they are pedophiles in the industry. But at the man award, they want to take away for where they are not sure about. Anyway, back to you. Stop. Why? Be yourself. The biggest thing you can do right now, Spice. If you want to get all of us, you know, in this together, and we can point out what MTV do, because we're gonna need everybody to point out what MTV did. MTV, we never used to hear black people video. Maybe them still have it. You're, you're, point, you're pointing out that that Erica Mina, that's what she name, as a history of racism. Sister, take a little time out and go. And do some research on the history of MTV. You see? And how they treated black people. Then you will talk a better talk. Then we are coming right now and try to milk the coffee off of the little black sister with no sense. You see? Your duty right now as a black woman. It's what it's a, before them before them kick you off. You know for resign and make a statement. You have to tell them say you know want be a part of this because them disrespect you by even hearing it. But here we go now because you see everybody outraged now. You're trying to jump. Somebody say Vietran, somebody say MTV. You know, tell me how which one. Somebody do the real check and tell me, please. A Vietran? It is the pa MTV must go on a VH1 or they must buy it or whatever. VH1 MTV, one of them. I see thing. You see? No. If you want to make a powerful statement, sister. If you want to make a powerful statement. You have to walk well left the show. First thing, you don't need the show. In my view. You don't need to show. I use them. I use you. Now something here. You know, you, you, know what's, you know what's crazy about this? All of this time. The platforms. Them where I cover this story now. The platforms. Them where I cover this story now. You know? And I proliferate. There's something here now. So you were called a blue monkey. Complex all of these platforms. You know, some never see them promote your music yet. You get nominated for Grammy. Me no see it on some of them platforms here. All these platforms now, you know. We are bring the story now, you know. The only reason why they're bringing the story now is because. And reporting on the story this way, you know. They might bring attention to the story and I point out this one little plantation negro where things are better than you, you know. Them not reports that MTV is still hearing it, you know. Them not, them not going after the directors, you know. Or the, or the editors or whosoever, you know. Or the franchise, you know. They're going after this little plantation negro. Where, 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 where the franchise um, encourage. You girls to fight. And during fight and people get angry. All manner of things come out of people. 
But you know why you can't stand up against this? Because it was not a problem to you in the first place. You only jump in on this now because people are outraged, so she called you a monkey. You, you had no problem in my view with her saying it when she said it. Facts. Because you recorded a whole video in the airport after. And at no point in the video you said she called you a blue monkey. At no point. And this is nothing new. You recorded a video after. After she called you a blue monkey. And that episode was aired after she called you a blue monkey. Now with that thing say if it was if, if you were so offended, you wouldn't even record nothing for the next episode, you'd have quit. Right there and then you'd have say, yo. She called me a blue monkey. I don't know wait till now for fire. Them should have fire up on the spot. You see that? And firing her now is just for ratings. Because is, is now them just realize it's wrong to call you a blue monkey. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Besties. Be besties, Uno just realize that it's just no wrong to call her a monkey. Uno and uh, MTV are uh, Uno confused me, no matter remember when we see pan. Uno and the, the TV, the, the television outlet we put it out. And the people we shoot it, and the people we sponsor it. The sponsors, all of these. Come on, people. Come on, people. Besties. Come on, besties. We don't stop going around and attack people. For foolishness. At this hour, we don't opportunity in you know, the besties. Spice besties. We don't attack people for nothing. We don't attack people and say people are look clout half a spice. We don't attack people if people say good or bad about her. This hour, we don't opportunity you know. Sponsors. Still a sponsor. The episode. You don't confuse me, no, I don't remember who, who, who hear it. Because I go, go do my research and I don't remember who. No. So, why out the people that we are showing it still are showing it? The people that are broadcasting it, they are still broadcasting it. Hey, good girl, are you cause it enough? Because I didn't have it enough. So, we have sponsors. We have sponsored the show with you being called a blue monkey. We have television station still are hear it with you being called that. And the people who own the franchise has no problem with it out there. <laughs> you see what I say? And that's the biggest part of the thing, sister. But you know why? Because they know you signed off on it. You signed up and you're sending your footage to them and they know this is just a part of the storyline. Because you said it in your, in your rant that you, were, that you were doing for the next episode. You said it. You said she is looking at storyline. The only problem is her storyline went a little bit below the belt. And two of them see her as white. But she's not white. She's a Negro. Back in the eugenics movement, go look it up, the eugenics program. She was even more black than me and you were fully black. Because they used to label them, them, them Latino looking, quote unquote, things of them white. They used to label them as some special um, needs people, you know. Them used to think that them have more, more 
issues than we, you know, more, uh, more, you know. So she, she's a black woman. You see? Just an ignorant black woman who thinks, uh, I look a light skin. Just like the uptown, some of the uptown people, them who think they're better than the downtown people. Them. She's just a little, just a little light skinned woman. We think that she's white. She, I think that she's Spanish. Not no name Spanish. Nothing no name Spanish. Mm -hmm. But you All of this outrage on the outrage, you have to look on yourself in the mirror. And you spice. Because you think so you are above anything when nobody have to say. First thing you do, you outgrow. You outgrow Jamaican people. It's your first mistake you make. Secondly, you get used. You see? They might use you. And they cast you as a little. They look arrogant Jamaican. They look the loud Jamaican. The Bugu Yaga Jamaican. I saw them cast you know. Yeah. Them cast you that way. The piggish mentality. So them cast you. Them always have your fight. And uh, because that's the only thing they can understand that you're saying. When you get angry, them can hear what you're saying because. Based on how you represent yourself when you speak. Them can't really understand you, but them can't understand when you have fight. That's why them cast you as the angry Jamaican woman. All is a fight. And that's why it end up here, so. Because them. Come on, sister. So you outgrow it and go turn. Um, we fight at them, them. When you mortal combat, you outgrow, we you know, and then go take your turn in a mortal combat. You see? Like them just press one button and say, fight. I want to just fight. And that you outgrow, we fight, you know? we Jamaican people, you know. We give you a crown after ladies are roll it off of the hill. Ladies are take off the crown and roll it off of the hill, and the people are go pick you up and put it on your head. And say, now you are the queen, and we will crown your queen. You outgrow we and go and turn fighter. And when we talk, then we say we love mix up and they sit there. But that's the truth. Them shows here when them beat them, you got them black woman here. All of them black woman here. Yeah. We think, and it's, it's just a, a bunch of women where some of them think they're better than each other, you know. And all they're doing, you know. Is trying to kill off themselves to look good on the show, you know. Some of them are some old women, you know. Past forties, you know. And all them do them that kill themselves under a knife to look good on the show. Because they come in on television. Only that go under the knife a hundred times a week. Just to look good on the show. Not because you don't feel insecure about yourself and you don't want to pretty up on yourself because you're a body, you know. You can't go fix up your body and do your ears and do your nose like Michael Jackson and walk around the doll one nose or one nostril. You can't go do your lips them and whatever you want to because it's your body. Nobody can tell you what to do with your body. What we are saying is, is the obvious. You girls, you know, turn on yourself in a monkey just to be on the show. Just to be on television, to outgrow the people them. You don't want to outgrow the people them want to grow up with, the people them were endorsing, the people them were embracing, you know? the people them were love you know? because as so we stay as black people. As soon as something start going off we, we want to outgrow the people them where they the whole way up. We want to outgrow the fan base. We whole way up. We put we a road. Hey, listen me. If Jamaican people don't love me, you know, me love them bad. I love Jamaican people going to bed because of them first say Vegas I make know me. So every time I me, me give me show gratitude non-stop. And them give me the break. So I can't outgrow them. 
All when they kick me out of 100 church. If they invite me at church tomorrow, I'm gone. Because I know they love church. I don't have to believe. You see? So that I want a problem. I want outgrowing the people them. The real people them. We love you. The real people them. We care for you. The real people them. We cherish you. I want to just grow. I want to find. I want to think. Even some of you. I want to think. I want to find Jesus. And outgrow. I want to see my friend them. I want to think. I want to go to church. I want to dress get longer. I want to start to have natural hair. I want to outgrow. I want to look at sin a friend and used to sit down and laugh with and talk with and all of them something there. I want to go live one boring life. I want to go live one boring sad life. And when the people come over to church start judging you know, for everything we want to do, I want to try to screech you back come and try to itch up back with the same friend they want to run with. Them. I want to walk with them and turn on the back one and judge them and condemn them to hell. I so want to stay, you know, anytime I want to think so I want to find something better, I want to talk about, I want to outgrow people. Same thing with Sister Sensia. Sister, what's the spice called her? Sensia. Sensia. Same thing with you. Same thing with you, sister. The core base where you have, love you, cherish you. Everything, every time you come, you want, you know, want to do them type of music there. You know, want to do this, you want to sing this or something. You want to go pop. You want to go, do, do, do. you want to go be on the show because do, 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 do. you want to outgrow people. And the people who love you the most, you know, always that try to outgrow. Juna Reed sing our song. Worry them, I worry them, I worry them, I worry them far in mind. I don't think me must be blind. I saw it on a long time. Juna Reed said, you know. I don't think I know Juna Reed see it. Juna Reed saw this a long time ago. And tell me. Long time ago. Robert, go and check. It's MTV, the thing coming on, brother, man. Stop tab of VH1, brother. It's MTV, man. Somebody just said Shabarankin. Even Shabarankin. When they loved Shabarankin, all the networks, them, all them networks that we see there, they love Shabarankin because they said he identified as what them. <laughs> that is the reason why when they were doing skits on the comedy show, they mocked Shabarankin. Mr. Lolova, Shaba, Shaba. Understand? So, Sister Spice, quit. You know what? They might have some bad mind coming while you come off of the show. Then stay on it and call when they might call you and talk come over here, but we all in it together. Turn where are they? And talk come over here and tell people about say we are all in this together. Because once you go say all, me all think so me and I, you know. And you're going to count all me and I, too. Because you think you're rich. <laughs> you see? But we with the office. So if you want all of us to be in this, don't take the disrespect, sister. Don't take the disrespect. Them still are hear it. But you know why you can't talk? Because that's what you signed up for. That's what you signed up for. You see? And if you ever say anything. Towards the network or towards the franchise, they might go point out say you know it was scripted. You knew it was a part of the act. You knew this. The people them just not comfortable with it. You see? And now you see say, people are labeling you as a victim. You are trying to run with it now. No man, if you want to run with it, sister, quit. Tell the people them say you yam shit. Because your career is way bigger than anybody career with the punish you. Just tell them say yam shit. And quit. You know how to do that. You don't kill yourself with the pan it. Yep. You don't kill off yourself with the pan it. You ain't gonna do that. And you know why you can't do that? Because you're not much better than Erica. Facts. Besties, they're going to get mad now. 
You know much better than the next plantation, Negro. Facts. It's just that you never call her a Latino monkey. But you know much better, sister. You know we know this. You co-sign the people them about you. We tell people the worst things on the internet. You co-sign ugly Dan. Forgot they go attack people. And you knew what you were doing. And you saw what she was doing and what she was saying about people. And you never think twice you co-sign her. In my view. By giving her your platform. And she start go out and she start do all her hair color like you. And she went in. And you know how cool her? Your mentor. Ninja man. One little letter from prison. Cool her down like all dress she start wear. She start dress up cute boy. You're fat. The man carry her good, good, quick, 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 quick time. Carry her good, good, quick, quick. All what did she come ball about Africa? What she say about Africa? Good, good, quick, quick correction. Mm -hmm. Ninja man from prison. From behind these prison walls. Good, good, quick, quick. Freak of nature. Lick her chip. Good, good. Watch. Looking at the mirror, she said, My God, is really a freak of nature. She come out. Now, one dress there, she put on one dress there. At that time, cargo one put one for her. <laughs> one man from behind that prison wall. Behind. No, no, we couldn't cool her. No, no, we. Go back and listen to the things that what she said about people. But you are no better than Erica. Because of that you like. You see who you call sign? One of the most disgusting freak of nature on the internet. But Ninja Man never give up on her. Ninja Man carry her and fix her back. Now she good. She good like gold, you know. Mm -hmm. Good ready for her ring from cargo. You take care of her body too and go put it on her finger now. Mm. She, she good, good ready now. <laughs> Ninja fix her. <laughs> you know, have she for fight no buckle for you. You can't use she. You cannot use. And uh, me not even call her pretty or ugly than anymore. Me just call her a young lady. Me just call her nursing. She don't know. Hey, hallelujah, Ninja man. Power be to the king. Power be to Ninja man, the Dan Gag and the 40th general. Fa me not even call her no bad name again. Right now, me see her as a progressive young lady. Big up yourself, ninja man. Who could have done that? But you never do that. You never take her and say, yo, come on, sister man, what you do? You can't have the internet to be yourself. You just attack everybody, so and just say anything coming out? You just tell people anything, sir? I me mean, No, 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 sister. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You see, you like me. You see, you like me. No, if you like me, you can't be yourself. That's not a representation of me. You can't like me and out there say, and you endorse me, and you, em, and you behave so. No, no, no. No, no, no. You go sign and figure cause people for you. And you sit back and watch it. You see? And when she attack your mentor, Ninja Man, I'll know you're not collect, you're not correct her. I'll know. I'll know to this day you don't correct her, but you come out here to we are all in this together. Spice. Your minions them and the people them we cultivate. Them not tell you the truth, sister. But the one thing at the end of the day, we can't genderize that something because they say, oh, because me a man and a woman and me a talk about woman. If Adam did talk about Eve, we would have still in the garden. Uh, Adam go low Eve to go over there go take a piece of the fruit and take a piece of the fruit and sit in. So if Adam did talk to Eve and tell Eve the truth, who no love come with us something about say love woman business alone. And that's the problem and that's why God punish you now make you have child, childbirth in a pain. Damn backside, you know. You see? More time you know, feel listen to the man. Ladies, stop you know, foolishness. Listen to the man. Stop listening to some of them woman yeah. Some of them woman yeah, them just like you know. Listen to the man. And that's why we need a situation with them painful pee rather than something we want to have with God make up to you. And make sure you can't have baby now. You can't have baby now in a pain and misery. One time God never designed it. You know? God make one big 10 pound baby can come out of your vagina with no pain at one point. That's how God did plan it. And God have to change his mind to you know, listen.
So we have to talk. Because now you say we are all in this together. Walk. Walk. Then I respect you. I could never be on a show. As somebody call me that, I mean stay up on the show. Not in past, no, not in my life depends on it. But the only reason why you're still on the show because you don't have no problem with the Macaulay like that. You never have no problem in the first place, sister. You just come to a ball out, not to everybody a ball out. Tap it, man. Tap it. Tap it, man. Just talk it through, man. You more had a problem with a woman not crying when you were sick. And that was your biggest problem. Because the woman never did ball like everybody when they did sick. You see? Because our ex-husband can come tell you where you are going in your house. You see? You look at effeminated one where they take turn in a girl. You see? And that's a problem. That's the problem. Because all of you know, house niggers are getting used on the plantation. And them using you specifically for a certain amount of things. And not just one thing they might use if I know. They might purpose for you. You right in the hub of everything we are going. Cause shakiness. You're there in the hub. You're there in the heart. <laughs> you're there hub city. And they know how to use you. You see what them do with you? Then take your promote one show where you're going to do over Canada. Where you have no reason even to promote it. Even if you're going to do it, you could have to do it and run a promotion on it. But them know when we do. Them take you and push you out there and make you turn the big advocate for that show there, for that people there. And you come out and tell for time if you go suck him mama because the man will tell you, say, yo, I use him, I use you. Don't do it. And you can tell the man suck him mother. And what them do? Them take you and them run you upon all of the network them and promote the show. Them use you. Because they have the agenda for cultivate the pit in their mind. So sooner or later, when the little boy come home and say, him want to be this, I want to be that, and you object to it, him just call the police, and the police just come take him, because you're not fit for raising a child, because you're not sub be subjected to everything with them. You understand? So just use them, use you, and still I use you. And them have no respect for you. Them wouldn't even give you a little respect for what you do for them. They're not even giving you a little bit of ounce of respect for all the work you're doing for them. What them do? They make you run go out there, storyline again. Because you need the storyline for run for your episode. So you go perform in Canada for the people them. Storyline. The hospital thing, storyline. You get sick and nearly dead, storyline. You go go back under the knife, you bring your pity them on it, for tell the whole world, say you go go back under the knife, storyline. We not say, you know, if you come tell people, say something wrong with you, you know. We not say, you know, if you come cry, and for everyone, and we have problems. And we, we come contact with problems. But it's not a storyline for a network. Make money off of it. That's what I mean. I say, we know, I know that you first. We just come come talk because more time we want to release the stress and we want to release some of we built up now. And we are suffer emotionally and them thing there. Yeah, and mentally. So some people just come talk because them, you understand? But we not really come out here and say, yo, we are go on Instagram because we know say Instagram and look at storyline. All of them things that we are doing, sister, is for a storyline for our network and for a franchise to make money and to keep you in the loop. They must sell you a dream. All of them things you do, sister. And you will kill off yourself too. Yep. You will kill yourself. And your minions, them, them not going to tell you this. Them not tell you this. You go into that show where everybody can, everybody and them woman know now say you're going to perform for them people. Eh? You know how much artists go perform for them people and eh? never highlight it? You are the first artist to do it. Why? Storyline for the show. And then the whole media house of Jamaica run with it. Then run with it and I see them all clown all foot hype when they attack. Them are, when you get the nomination for the Grammy, storyline. Them, them, yes, yeah man, you rub it in a foot hype face. You see? Them see has been victorious. To go against quote unquote righteousness. You never see them push unrighteousness over righteousness when they must say, yeah man, see, now you rub it in a foot of your face because you get Grammy nomination. You never, you never see it. 
And the same Jamaican people who say righteousness in them. And them never have no problem with the media. I push forward unrighteousness over quote unquote righteousness from foot type. You know what they see it? I use it, I get you, sister. To push it. For your people them. You know so far them reach now. You know, you see, Futa hype endorse the, the, the other queen. And say she must now be the dance hall queen. And bring her in. Welcome her to dance hall. You know so I go on now. You know so she go dig up everybody from every wish part of them there. And highlight them. And dash them on the back. Eh? Agenda people. I, I don't know the boy them. Because now them not going to know so when, a, when a man touch them. Or, when, or, or, or a little girl them, when, when somebody touch her. Them not even know say it wrong because them so desensitized. Hide on the picnic them. Take them phone and watch them and watch. And look what talk to them. Yep. It's all a part of the agenda storyline people. Crown our dance all queen on a some fest right after all of this. In the middle of all of this. But profound for the people them come back you get the crown. Ladies are crown and get roll off of the hill. Ladies are take and roll it off of the hill. And then come so boom and you go, you go perform for the people in Canada. And you bring it over on our side, the hardcore side of the Jamaican dancer where the whole of them have we as hate people, hateful music. Them have we, them have we, them, them, them say we, 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 um, we are just like the, the Nazis. You know, you know the name of the artists them in the industry where them say they are equivalent to the Nazis. Yeah, take you now, boom, boom, represent, represent for over the world eh? And when you come back now, you get all of the love, all of the attention, all of the accolades, them, all of the crowns, everything that you want shall be given unto you. And then comes a boom and put the crown on your head. Storyline. Not no real. Because, in truth, you never need to do all of that for the Jamaican people them crown you. It's a real, realist thing. I didn't love you. But you outgrow them. You outgrow them, sister. You never have to do all of that for them crown you. Because them see your work. Them see your hard work where you put in. You see? We may not have the music. You may, don't, you may not have the music to show. You know, because in truth, you don't really have a big catalog. But your work ethic is unmatched. Nobody can talk to you about that. But no, nothing is real, sister. All storylines. Yeah. If you message them, no way I put out. No real. Storylines. Just forget your week's input. Or your episode's input. You just look your part to put in the episode. I just that it is. So even the people them we are run up and down and kill off themselves and, and would have want to cost me right now to defend or to go against what I say. All of them, you know, group up together and the story. You see? Because you have to keep validating why you should be a part of the show. And that's the problem, you know. And them even say to you upon the show. Them don't know your song them. So you, you keep validating yourself. Why, 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 why I'm supposed to be here? And this is your I am here moment. This is your me reach moment. This is everybody knows me now moment. But guess what, sister? Where them know you for? And where them know you as? The new plantation negro. We have to run things now. Because the other one get kicked off. Because this can't turn down, you know. This is not a show where you turn it down. This show, we have to keep fighting. Because we don't have no substance. We don't have nothing for people watching. We don't have no storyline. We don't have no screenwriter or nobody will sit down and put anything together. I'll be a freestyle. It's just freestyle I go on. So when we have a when we when we sit down and attack, um you know, I went to Jamaica and I went and visit the Blue Lagoon. Bitch, what did you say? Like Did you call me a blue lagoon? Yeah. Yes, me 
hit you with a blue lagoon. Here, 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 Oh, you tell me. I was in. I was when I was in the hospital, and you said to the man that you did not cry because why he's not crying, <laughs> and he should have been crying. And what about your kids? When last you see your son? <laughs> Not even the security then we ready. <laughs> Not even the security then ready. <laughs> Rick Stam. Not even security ready. <laughs> it's a nice conversation. <laughs> Let's just discuss our problems. You know. Um You know what the problem I have with you? You know what the problem I have with you? You bitch. Like, we're supposed to be having a, a conversation to iron out with differences. You know what the problem I have with you? <laughs> no, I did not cry because. So talk about your son. Why are you not talking? Why are you not taking care of your son? Boop! What the fuck just happened? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I kill myself, my sisters. The representation of the mad black woman. The casting of the mad black woman. The angry black woman. And then they put it in their data. They put it in their data and they have all of us black people as monkeys. Because them say as a monkey behave. So when you act like a monkey and you get called a monkey, don't bother come come back to we. Because we are treat we we are try. You know, not to be monkeys. We they are try. You know. So when you behave them we them and call each other names. Nobody can try draw all we night. Because we not try behave so. We are trying to point out who no monkey behavior. Because I saw them cast to know. That is how them cast to know. You see? That is it. So Sister Spice, in a nutshell, don't come out here come try playing a victim. Because now you have become the laughing stock. People that make a song of fire called the blue monkey. You know why? You know why? Because you outgrow it. You outgrow it. You see? Because you want to be American. Because you're foreign minded. But you can't recover. Just walk. Walk before they kick you off. And maybe your ratings go up and all is well. Big up on yourself.